Hurricane Milton is closing in on Florida just days after Hurricane Helene barreled through the southeast. The Sunshine State bracing for a direct hit and my co-anchor Eva Pilgrim is on the ground in Orlando where a state of emergency is now in effect. Eva, what's the latest? Uh, you know, DeMarco, Floridians here are still very much on edge after Hurricane Helene. FEMA says they're equipped to handle back-to-back -back storms, but the response efforts have really been hampered by misinformation. Officials now trying to set the record straight. We are joined by Homeland Security Secretary Alejandra Mayorkas. And, you know, the big question today is, is FEMA equipped to be able to deal with both of these storms and that aftermath, Secretary? Eva, we most certainly are. FEMA uh, prides itself on its flexibility, on, uh, on its capacity. Uh, it has surged resources, of course, uh, in response to Hurricane Helene. We have prepositioned resources in Florida in anticipation of the very significant Hurricane Milton. We have 900 FEMA personnel there. Uh, and in addition, we have millions of meals, millions of liters of water available. We have our search and rescue operations uh, positioned there, not only of FEMA, but of the United States Coast Guard. We have an all of federal government readiness in support of the state and local officials. And the most significant message that I can communicate to the people in Florida is listen to your local officials and follow their instructions. Doing so is a matter of life and death. That is some good advice there. Mr. Secretary, let's talk about some of these false claims that are spreading online that FEMA is diverting hurricane funds to migrants and that Helene survivors will only get $750. What's your reaction to that misinformation? It is absolutely false that funds have been diverted from FEMA to migrants. That is categorically false. We are putting $750 in the hands of people immediately to address their immediate needs, but they will be entitled to additional relief. This type of false information discourages people from accessing the relief that we have available to them. It has to stop. We have to speak it as one nation in support of the people who need our assistance. And Secretary, we saw so many of those evacuations going on even this morning, a million people evacuating Florida. What would you say to those people who have chosen to stay, who have decided to ride out the storm? That is not a um, risk that is worth taking. They are risking more than their property. They are risking their lives. If local in officials instruct them uh, to evacuate, they need to evacuate. They need to follow the instructions and advice that they are receiving. It is for their benefit, their well-being, and the well-being and benefit of their loved ones. Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas, thank you so much for talking with us today.